Hello, welcome back to another video. Richard here, welcome to the channel. And today it's a real quick video about how we can make a subject really stand out against his background using the new features that came out in one of the recent releases of Lightroom Classic. Let's take a look at Lightroom right now. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom. I have a real quick photo of my son in the forest. This was taken ooh, earlier in the summer, I think, maybe even last year, I'm not sure. Probably last year. Um, he's just standing there, we're out on the bikes, I think. I took a quick snap. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, just to make it look a little bit better, we're gonna chuck a, gonna throw a quick preset on and just mess around with it so it makes it a little bit more attractive to us as we're editing. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we are gonna highlight the we're gonna highlight Max in one or two clicks, then we're gonna flip and make sure the background is highlighted. We're gonna adjust those two, the brightness and the contrast a little bit, and you'll see a difference that makes with Max popping off the screen, we hope. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so come up here to the top right-hand corner. We have the masking tool, click on there, and we are going to select subject. And we are hoping that that is gonna select the whole of Max. There is a show overlay button here. We can just tick that. And we can see it has done a damn fine job um, picking Max and nothing else. You can see up here around the hat where the white hat merges in with the white sky. We could go in and fine tune that if we wanted to, um, but it doesn't matter if it's a little bit feathered because it will just sort of add to the, you've got a lot of harsh lines around the subject all the time. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is turn off the overlay and we are now gonna make Max just a little bit brighter, not too much because we don't want to make it look fake and a tiny bit of sharpness on max i think you can obviously spend a bit more time doing this i'm doing it real quick for the video but you get the idea so that's max a little bit brighter um but the background for me is still a little bit too bright and we want to take the emphasis away from the background and make max stand out a little bit more so all we're going to do is come back up to the mask panel here and on these i think you can click on these three white lines three white dots here or you can round right mouse click on the whole bar and we're gonna use this option here, duplicate and invert mask. And what that is gonna do is that is gonna highlight everything apart from Max and give us a new mask just for everything else. So click on there and if we do the overlay now, you can see everything apart from Max is highlighted and we have the two masks up here, mask one inverted and mask one. Make sure we are on mask one inverted. Let's turn off the overlay up to the right hand side for the exposure and we can now bring the exposure down around max to make the background a little bit darker if you wanted to you could blur it a little bit i don't really like doing that in case there's something on the same focal plane as him and it just looks a bit fake but play around with it as you see fit um, and if you wanted to just bring the saturation down a tiny bit you could so that is now really quickly we've applied two masks, one on Max making them a bit brighter, a bit punchier, one on the background making that less obvious. Let's turn the masks off and off again, on and off again. And that was it before, and then it was and that is it after. So it's very subtle. You could make it less subtle, you could make it more subtle, depending on your editing style. But that is um, a real easy way of making your subject just stand out a bit against the background. Now it works on objects as well. Here is a photo that I've already edited of just a whiskey bottle that I took in the office here. Exactly the same principle up to the select subject and that will highlight the whole subject. As you can see, if we use the overlay, it's highlighted that whole bottle. Again, if you wanted to go and fine tune these little bits, you easily could. Let's turn the overlay off. So we are gonna make the bottle a tiny bit brighter. Again, we don't wanna go mad, we want it to look fake. We're gonna make it a little bit brighter about there and by the same token we are going to hit the three dots duplicate and invert and then we're going to bring the background down a tiny bit so while it's not obvious we don't want to make it like that you know we want to make it subtle enough to still look real but subtle enough for it to look good as well and again let's turn these masks off so you can see that's it without the masks that's it with the mask and it just brings the emphasis on your subject um, and even where we didn't go in and edit the fine lines, it still looks pretty good. So there we go, real quick way of how to use the masking features in Lightroom Classic to make your subject in the photo pop off the screen and just highlight that more than 
the background. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. Comment down below if you found it useful, if you can suggest any other tips where you use this tool for. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.